last lecture, we have discussed about angle of bite. Now, let's derive an expression for the same. As you can see here, a schematic diagram is made corresponding to the top roller. Here, A is the point of contact. That means a point where the workpiece meets the roller for the first time. B being that particular point which is extended from point A to the vertical line inside the roller cutting its center which is denoted by O and C is the point after which the workpiece leaves the contact with the roller and hence AC the arc AC remains the area or basically remains the perimeter or the length at which the material and the rollers are in contact with each other. Now from the triangle OAB we have cos alpha as OB by OA and BC here would be H0 minus H1 by 2 or del H by 2. Here del H is the maximum possible draft that is the reduction of height or the thickness of the workpiece. Now del H is obviously given by initial height minus final height or H0 minus H1. However, this reduction is possible by using two rollers because these two rollers are performing the rolling operation and reducing the size of the workpiece. The top roller contributes the half of the reduction and the bottom roller contributes the other half and hence this BC here would be del H by 2. This is the half of the reduction. Now this OB will be given by OC minus BC that is R that is the radius of the roller minus del H by 2. Now cos alpha can be now written as R minus del H by 2 by R and hence alpha comes up to be cos inverse R minus del H by 2 by R and this is the expression for angle of bite. The process of metal rolling is made possible by the friction that occurs between the contact surfaces of the rolls and the part being rolled. At the moment of bite or at the very moment when the material when the workpiece meets the roll, two forces act on the matter from the side of each roll. These two forces would be the normal force P and the tangential force mu P as you can see here. Here mu is the coefficient of friction between the metal and the roll surfaces. The part or the workpiece would be dragged in if the resultant of horizontal component of the normal force P and the tangential force or the frictional force mu p is directed in that particular direction and hence in the limiting case we have p sin alpha is equal to mu p cos alpha and from here we get expression as mu is equal to tan alpha or alpha that is the angle of bite is equal to tan inverse mu now if this alpha is greater than tan inverse mu, the work will not enter the space between the rows automatically and hence we have to supply some external means to do so. Now as you can see here, 
this AC is the arc or the arc length of deformation. It is also known as length of contact because in this particular region, the material and the roll are in contact with each other continuously and after point C, the material leaves the contact with the roller and here AB is the length of deformation zone or L suffix T where the deformation takes place or up to which deformation takes place that means H0 reducing to become H1. Now this AB can be simply find out by using simple Pythagoras theorem that is under root OA square minus OB square. Putting all the values here we get AB or the length of deformation zone as under root R del H minus del H square by 4. Here del H square by 4 is very very small as compared to R del H and hence it is neglected. In essence, we can say AB is equal to under root R del H, which is the length of deformation zone L suffix T. Now, tan alpha in this particular triangle OAB, tan alpha would be given by AB by OB or under root R del H by R minus del H by 2 because AB being the length of deformation zone. Again, in this particular equation, del H by 2 is very smaller as compared to the radius of the roller and hence we can neglect it as well. In essence, tan alpha is equal to under root R del H by R or tan alpha is under root del H by R. And hence, we get another expression for angle of bite as alpha is equal to tan inverse under root del H by R. Now you can recall the angle of bite expression that we earlier found which was alpha is equal to cos inverse R minus del H by 2 by R. If somebody asks you to find out the exact value of angle of bite in case of rolling process this particular expression alpha is equal to cos inverse r minus del h by 2 by r comes into play because it gives you almost exact value of angle of bite as compared to the expression here that is tan alpha is equal to under root del h by r. Now here are certain values for angle of bite in various processes including both cold rolling and hot rolling. You can take a screenshot of the same or you can just write them down in your notes.